you little monsters, this little monster girl Desi coming at ya. And today I got a brand new video for you guys. This is going to be a speed paint redraw of a monster poster. Well, actually I'm going to call them creature posters because despite the fact being a movie about small monsters, I didn't find it all that scary. Even when I was little. I originally wanted to do a different movie poster, but that one didn't actually get recorded. I had started it last month, but I didn't feel like redrawing all of that because it took me quite a while. This one was slightly easier, and considering that this is a creature movie that came out and starred in on Christmas, it would be good to kick off the Christmas month. I actually have a monster bite planned for a few days later. So I won't be doing any information on these creatures. I actually plan to do a different video for these guys. But I will talk about the Gremlins movie in general. When I first watched the Gremlins, I was actually a pretty little kid. My dad had it on DVD and decided to show me it, thinking that it would scare me. But I actually really enjoyed it. And I didn't actually get all that scared, other than a few scenes that mostly grossed me out more than anything. I'm pretty sure when I was little, I thought that the, that the gremlins, when they were cute looking, I think I probably thought that they were like chihuahuas and bear mixed together. I don't know. But I always really loved Gizmo and I kept telling my dad, Hey dad, would you get me a gremlin for Christmas? Of course, this was before I knew that gremlins were not something that you can actually buy at a shop. I guess I thought it would be pretty cool to have a pet that was relatively intelligent and even sung. That was until I saw what would happen to them if you fed them after midnight. And needless to say, that's when I started to get a little bit creeped out about the concept of gremlins. Though, even as a little kid, I guess theorizing was kind of my thing. Because during the scene where a bunch of water got spilled on Gizmo, I actually started talking to my, to my dad about how maybe that they were created. Obviously, a few droplets in another scene showed that only a few of them came popping out. So, I guess it depends on how much water gets dumped on them that pretty much decides how many of those little fur balls get popped off of them. When the gremlins turned evil, they didn't really scare me. It was more like that I was kind of creeped out and grossed out about them, because they looked so slimy and lizard-like that I just didn't like it. Though the scenes that grossed me out the absolute most is when the mom ended up putting a gremlin in the microwave and made it explode into slime, then another scene where one got stuck in a blender. Surprisingly, despite being really good with technology, they're extremely stupid at the same time. But I did really like the scene that took place in a bar. You know, the scene where the one that was dressed in a little pink sweater was dancing around? I thought that that was kind of cute, until the one with a gun showed up and just started shooting. And then, of course, there was that scene at the end where... Well, where Spike kind of got both... Kind of melted. Well, not really melted. I guess it was more like he was boiled and turned into gremlin soup. Yeah, if you haven't seen the movie, it's just as gross as it sound. Even with the cheesy effects, it was kind of gross looking. Though, I think the only thing about the movie that actually scared me is the ending where it said there just might be a gremlin in your house. And that definitely freaked me out because my dad also decided that was a good moment to make it look like the power went out by unplugging the TV when I wasn't looking. I'm pretty sure I screamed loud enough to make it sound like he was strangling me to the neighbors. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the speed paint, and I hope you didn't mind me just rambling in your ear. If you liked the video, please like, share, or subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And I'll see all you jelly beans in the next video. Bye!